All right, we're back on the record. Um, anything before we begin the afternoon session? Okay. Bring the jury in. Thank you.
Hi, Nancy. It's Jennifer. Can I get the number for a jewelry pool, please? Um, I don't know. Never mind. <clears throat> I'm all good. Thank you. We're not used to starting right on time, are we? You're fine. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure I gave clear instructions. It wasn't me. <laughs> No problem. All right. Did everyone follow the admonition during the break? Yes. Very good. All right. Mr. Clack, then, sir, if you would resume your seat on the witness stand and just remember that you remain under oath. testified to. Um, so I just wanted to clarify, on October 16th, uh, 2016, so you said you had started a new job, is that correct? Yes, ma'am, that's correct. Okay. Um, so you just found out that your girlfriend was pregnant and you've gone to the doctor. Um, you say that you had a lot of uh, pressure from her family to get married. Yeah, um, what happened specifically, uh, October 2nd, uh, when we found out she was pregnant, um, I had to go to her parents' house and tell her father that uh, she was pregnant, announce it. I didn't really understand the concept of it, but I just went with it because she asked me to. <coughs> and she was just saying it's the proper thing to do, okay. this, then, the third. So I was like, all right. So I get there, I tell her father, you know, that you know, she's pregnant. Hi, Mr. Clark, I'm just going to interrupt you just for a minute because I'm, I'm just going to kind of ask you kind of specific questions. Um, but I understand you say that you were under a lot of pressure. Um, and so you were working, you said you were working every day leading up to the 16th? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And you um, you stated in your testament that things had been, I think you used the words, building up for a few weeks. Um, so you got home that day, there was no food in the house. Is that correct? Uh, yeah, that's correct. Um, but not to take that the wrong way, like the reason why I said that specifically is because if I'm legit on stand for what I've been accused of, you would think that somewhere that would have been something that she complained about that I said. I never said anything. Like, I completely tried to avoid her at all costs. I didn't say anything. Okay. And I feel um, myself. And that's not what I was asking you. I was just asking you if there was right, I just want to elaborate on that point. Okay. So, yeah. okay. So what I had asked you is that there was not, there was no food in the hall when you came home. Well, no, there was food in the hall. I'm just saying, like, there was nothing cooked. Okay. Like, in, in, in just society, when it comes to domestic violence, and I'm, have not gonna, this, I'm not asking you about domestic I know, but it's right a broad, now. it's a, it's a broad um, brush. Mr. Clark, if I'm going to ask a question, I need you to let me finish the question. Uh, I'm just kind of focus on what, I'm, what the answer is. Okay? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma Thank you. Um, and so that day, you said you, you stated that you, quote, felt nasty. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, and so when you got home, you were looking for some food. Uh, the victim got, or excuse me, Ms. Patrick came home, and she, she immediately told you that you needed to move out that day. Is correct. that correct? Yes. Okay. Um, but you didn't say that to the police, did you? No, no. Okay. Um, um, and you stated earlier that you felt very comfortable with these police officers, that they were pretty cool with you. Yeah, I like Officer Trevino. Um, matter and of he fact, was the, the officer that arrested, that arrested you for the yeah, assault? Yeah, and the other two guys, like, they were cool. Okay. I, didn't, I didn't have no problems with them. Okay. They was cool. So you felt very comfortable with them, but you, you didn't tell them that you had moved, that she had told you to move out that day? Yeah, no, I didn't, I didn't tell okay. them. Um, so you stated things kind of progressed, things were going back and forth. You said that it was, quote, a non-consensual argument. Correct. Right, and that you, quote, didn't want to entertain it. Um, no, I did not. Okay. You stated you were tired, you were worn out, you were already tired from the day. Yeah, uh, yes, ma'am, I did state that. Okay. Um, and she just continued talking for about 45 minutes. Um, yeah, initially yes, she did. Okay. Um, so at that point, I, I believe you said you went to the kitchen to get some lemonade. Uh, y yes, ma'am, that is correct. Okay. And you stated she was still, quote, talking, talking, talking. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, so at that point, you both had lemonades in your hands? Uh, yeah. Yes, ma'am. 
And you said you were, quote, letting her talk. Yeah, yes, ma'am. Um, so you stated that she kind of gestured with the cup? Yes, ma'am. And that she spilled a drop on you? She got some of it on me because that's what made me get out of my chair. Okay. Like, if she didn't spill that on me, like, I would have... Honestly, I'd probably still be in that chair. Like, I, mm -hmm. I would never would have got out of that chair. Okay. So it's safe to say the lemonade is kind of what The lemonade was the catalyst. Most. No, I was not frustrated. I was being attacked. It was like an ice bucket challenge I did not want to be a part of. And so I'm not, I'm not real. So the a, ice bucket challenge is when someone pours a whole yeah, bucket of water. Yeah, but and I'm saying I had just took a hot shower. So okay. the sensation okay. that I felt when that, I already had it in my hand. I was already mm -hmm. drinking it. That was the okay. sensation of that drop on my external skin. Okay. So, yeah. So I, that, that drop of water was without, without, similar without to the, the ice Without the challenge. lemonade, I would have stayed in my chair because okay. the reason why I stayed in my chair to begin with is because she was blocking everything. And, like, I didn't want to take a chance of, like, running either way, bumping into her. I didn't want to try to go upstairs, grab my clothes. I definitely didn't want to go outside because I didn't want her, like, coming outside trying to block my truck. And she's done that before, so I tried not to do that. So... When I was in the living room, I was like, just shut up and stay still. Like, that's it. Like, I was trying, like, not to touch her, not to move her. Like, I just let her pop off what she was popping off. And, like, I just, I just let that go. Like, I couldn't, it wasn't, it wasn't something that I wanted to be a part of at all. Like, essentially, like, I mean, honestly, I feel like I was held hostage. Like, I couldn't do anything. I didn't want to hurt it. I didn't want to hurt the baby. Like, mm -hmm. I just sat there. And without that... But you just stated you didn't sit there, that when she spilled, you know, quote, the drop of lemonade on you, that's when you got up. Yeah. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. And so at that point, if I'm remembering correctly, that's when you decided to get the cable from the TV. You were trying to remove yourself from the situation. Correct, right? yes. Okay. Um, and that's when she started rocking the TV. Yeah, well, well actually, like, um, she was hitting on me, like, still motion to pour the lemonade on me. And while oh, I was she was to, continuing to. Yeah, she was continuing with it. She's hitting me in. She still got the limit. She okay. didn't drop the lemonade. Okay. Make no mistake. She didn't drop it. Gotcha. But like, she's wobbling the TV back and forth. And like I said, I'm bent over. Is she like, trying, trying to do the lemonade while she's rocking the TV? No, nah, she's just hitting on me. Like I don't like the lemonade. So like she's I can't see you, it. She's holding she, the lemonade and she's rocking the TV all at the same time. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Just the just the sheer like uh, momentum of like her backing into it. Cause like when I got up. I'm like, whoa, you know what I mean? Like, I'm just, you know, just defensive. It's just an instinctual thing. Like, I mean, it's like, it's like getting stuck with a needle. I mean, like, how you react when you get stuck with a needle? That's how you react. You can't tell your body how to react to some type of outside stimulus that you did not bring upon your own person. And that was an outside stimulus that I had no control over. So I'm reacting. Everything that I'm doing, like, I'm just reacting. I don't want to be in a situation. How? What was your... I was just defending myself from, from, from the lemonade like this. How did you defend like, yourself? I'm getting confused now. Well, what happened was when she's motioning the lemonade, I'm like, oh, it's stuck in. You know what I mean? So when she's motioning the lemonade, like I get up out of my seat and I do like this little move right here mm -hmm. and I walk towards the TV because I'm done. Mm -hmm. I try to grab the cable box. She's still hitting on me. And that's, it is what it is. Like she, she did that. Okay. Um. But again, you didn't tell the police that she was hitting you on your shoulder. No, when you? the police when the police came, everything was happening really fast. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to tell them anything she did. Like I said, like I have a infant son. Mm -hmm. I didn't want him in. I didn't want him in jail. I didn't want him in no cop car. I didn't want him in jail. Um, you stated earlier that uh, you restrained her the way that they said I did when she was grabbing the TV. Not what? not the way she said I did. Like when I restrained her, like I just I just grabbed her to stop her. Like like I said, like. When she was moving the TV, mm -hmm. it was just some instinctual, like, and I'm thinking about, like, spotting, I'm thinking about, like, the baby, like, I'm thinking about losing it. She ain't never had no kid before. And, like, uh, the whole time she was pregnant, but when she first got pregnant, she just started acting funny. Well, I'm and, not going to ask you questions about the initial pregnancy. Well, just gonna what, happened about what happened was I kind of knew night. she was under some type of psychological duress. Gonna, um, That's why I have this. <clears throat> 